A friend's grandparents recently celebrated 61 years of marriage. And I, as a quintessential singleton that is navigating the turbulent waters of courtship in this postmodern world of dating apps and pandemics, could not help but marvel at the type of bond that connects two individuals in this special way. Well, to be honest, it wasn't that long until I remembered that I actually know of another type of Cupid's arrow, commonly known as polar covalent bonding, which exists in organic chemistry as a catalyst for fueling strong relationships between various elements, such as in this case, fueling a powerful relationship between carbon and a couple of fluorines. Catapulted into existence through various man-arranged marriages for the purpose of creating convenience products, it is no surprise to me that this exchange has cemented itself in society over time. These organic chemicals known as poly and perfluoroalkyl substances boast of being oleophobic, that is, being resistant to oil which makes them great for non-stick cookware. No more of that scrubbing and scraping of pots and pans on end. Finally, bring on the hiatus. In addition to this, they are great for firefighting film foams, as well as grease-resistant containers such as our microwave popcorn boxes. But then again, as with any great powers, the responsibilities that often tag along are all the more monumental. This is because the vices that follow these benefits are often detrimental to society when they're indiscriminately discarded into our environments through their product carriers. Not only are they non-degradable in nature, but with their tendency to biomagnify, they can blend into the matrix of our water systems and there confuse the enemy that is our conventional water treatment techniques, which amplifies their toxicities. With this, the global community has sounded bebop, bebop emergency signals to request the additional help. The need for affordable, simplistic, and eco-friendly remediation methods has become of high priority. While with all the health hazards that they introduce to humans upon contact, such as cancer, it makes absolute sense. That is why my research seeks to introduce or to combat the spreading of cons by making use of an equally organic material known as maize tassel. Found at the apex of any male maize plant, its superpower is that when it is ground to powder under optimized conditions in a filter, it has the internal properties that are perfect for chemically distorting these functional groups. With that, they're able to nullify their potency and save the day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pinky. Like that was absolutely engaging, and I, I loved you. You you used a lot of reference to uh, the applications of some of the technologies before, and some of the downsides, and why this this product, your research, is is changing the game, hopefully. But I'm interested in Maze Tackle. Um, so before the introduction of something like Maze Tackle, like a natural product to, to solve an unnatural problem, um, how did we deal with things like that in our environment? Yeah, good question. So um, there's a thing known as um, granular activated carbon. So most people make use of that particular one. But the thing about it is that it's not readily available and it's expensive. So some communities, such as in South Africa, will not be able to access that. Um, so yeah, they, there's been a lot of use with that and stuff like reverse osmosis, which is also expensive. So methods that were used previously, um, for some of us, they're too expensive and we cannot access them freely already <laughs> fantastic thank you um thank you so much for your presentation pinky and i think you packed a lot of content in there which was really fascinating and i liked how you talked about the pros and cons of different technologies and i just wondered was there any danger or any disadvantage to using this natural maize powder in trying to combat this problem Thankfully, none that we know of. Um, this is because maize tassel is actually an organic waste. So in the agricultural industry, um, it only serves to fertilize the maize plant. So once the useful carbs have been harvested, maize tassel is thrown away. And because it's naturally produced, and I'm not modifying it any more than it is already, I just grind it to powder and filter it. And it just happens to work. You just need to optimize your, your conditions, um, which is done. But it's still, as, as of this point, um, we haven't noticed any, any disadvantages. 
That's great to hear and all the best with your research. Thank you so much, Roma.